Now these are the last words of David. Thus says David, the son of Jesse, thus says the man raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord spoke by me, and his word was on my tongue. The God of Israel said, The Rock of Israel spoke to me. He who rules over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God, and he shall be like the light of the morning when the sun rises. A morning without clouds, like the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Although my house is not so with God, yet he has made with me an everlasting covenant ordered in all things and secure. For this is all my salvation and all my desire. Will he not make it increase? But the sons of rebellion shall all be as thorns thrust away because they cannot be taken with hands. But the man who touches them must be armed with iron and the shaft of a spear and they shall be utterly burned with fire in their place. These are the names of the mighty men whom David had. Joseph Bashebeth, the Tatmanite, chief among the captains. He was called Adono the Esnite, because he had killed 800 men at one time. And after him was Eliezer, the son of Doda, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men with David when they defied the Philistines who were gathered there for battle. And the men of Israel had retreated. He arose and attacked the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand stuck to the sword. The Lord brought about a great victory that day and the people returned after him only to plunder. And after him was Shammah, the son of Agi, the Hararite. The Philistines had gathered together into a troop where there was a piece of ground full of lentils. So the people fled from the Philistines, but he stationed himself in the middle of the field, defended it, and killed the Philistines. So the Lord brought about a great victory. Then three of the thirty chief men went down at harvest time and came to David at the cave of Adullam and the troop of Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. David was then in the stronghold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David said with longing, Oh, that someone would give me a drink of the water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. So the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines, drew water from the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink it, but poured it out to the Lord. Far be it from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is this not the blood of the men who went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink it. These things were done by the three mighty men. Now Abishai, the brother of Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was chief of another three. He lifted his spear against three hundred men, killed them, and won a name among these three. Was he not the most honored of three? Therefore he became their captain. However, he did not attain to the first three. Beniah was the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man from Kabzael, who had done many deeds. He had killed two lion-like heroes of Moab. He also had gone down and killed a lion in the midst of a pit on a snowy day. And he killed an Egyptian, a spectacular man, 
the Egyptian had a spear in his hand. So he went down to him with a staff, wrested the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and killed him with his own spear. These things Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, did, and won a name among three mighty men. He was more honored than the thirty, but he did not attain to the first three, and David appointed him over his guard. Asahel, the brother of Joab, was one of the thirty. Elhanan, the son of Doda of Bethlehem, Shammah, the Herodite, Elika, the Herodite, Heles, the Paltite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite, Ebaiza, the Anathothite, Mirbani, the Hushathite, Zalman, the Ahohite, Meherai, the Nitaphathite, Heleb, the son of Baana, the Netaphathite, Itai, the son of Ribai, from Gibeah, of the children of Benjamin, Beniah, a Pirathonite, Hidai, from the brooks of Gaash, Abiolman, the Arbathite, Asmaveth, the Bahumite, Eliaba, the Shealbanite, of the sons of Jashan, Jonathan, Shama the Herorite, Ahiam, the son of Shera, the Herorite, Eliphalet, the son of Ahazbai, the son of the Maacathite, Eliam, the son of Ahithophel, the Gilonite, Hezrei, the Carmelite, Peari, the Arbite, Igel, the son of Nathan of Zobah, Bani, the Gadite, Zelech, the Ammonite, Neharai, the Beirathite, armor-bearer of Joab, the son of Zerahiah, Ira, the Ithrite, Gareb, the Ithrite, and Uriah, the Hittite, thirty-seven in all.